Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. Today we are taking a look at David Gravel's 2022 Houston Speedway Jackson Motorplex. Um, what is this, uh, Big Game? Is this Big Game Racing, I think? I think it's Big Game. Uh, is the name of the team, Big Game Racing or Big Game Motorsport, something like that. Let me see if I can find it here. Mm. No, I don't see it on here, but I thought I think that's what it is. Um, ooh, another design by Black Rear. That's kind of cool. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at it here. Uh, this is our box here. We've got Gravel and then ShopDGR.com, World of Outlaws, number two. And this is a made by Acme. Now you can see here we've got uh, Houston Speedway, Gravel, number two again. And then over on the side, this is what it'll look like when you're trying to stack it. 2022 Houston Speedway Sprint Car, David Gravel, number two. So uh, that's kind of what I have. What we have for our box. I don't have any of the foam inserts in it because I have already put this car together on stream for everybody. Uh, but let's go ahead and get a nice close look at the uh, at the beautiful car here. All right. So as we look at the uh, at the left side of the car, let's start over here on the left side. It's always easier. There we go. So on the left side of the car here, you can see we've got our number two up at the front of the wing. That's new to this year. Last year it was at the back of the wing. This year it'll be at the front of the wing. Uh, you can see Speedway. You can see the number two looks the same. Uh, instead of the black and orange, we go to the black and white. You can see gravel across the front wing there. Got uh, Jackson Motorplex on the front wing. Uh, Houston Speedway on the back wing. Flipping it over to this side, you can see we've got the NOS Energy Drink logo. It's kind of like gray this year. It's not bright white. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like reflective or something, but it definitely is like different color right there uh but you see Houston Speedway you can see the um side wing also there on the uh, engine cover you can or the motor cover you can see gravel up there kind of it's up there kind of hidden and then there's where you can see who designed it there's Blackbeard and as I said he does uh sprint car designs for Kane that's why I follow him on Twitter he's got some he does some cool ones uh done a few for Larson and, and some other guys but um I just know that he did a lot of them for Casey Kane and I loved Every single one of them. So, um, simping a little bit. Um, yeah, but anyway, you can see we got our steering post or our uh, steering. Um, what do you call it? steering assembly? There we go. All the uh, pieces that are involved in that. Uh, you can see we got our rear tire, front front moves or pivots, just like that. Front wing, as you can see really wiggly you can see how much you can wiggle it uh, that's something they adjusted uh yep they're locked back in but the front wing is really flexible now it's supposed to make it easier to put on and off which it does for sure do uh but it's not quite as latched in as it used to be like the old version you'd latch it in and you could pick it up by it if you really wanted to now it is flimsy enough you will not pick up this front wing and the front wheels come off the ground it's very flimsy but again it's better to keep it from breaking. So there is a bonus to that. It, it does make sense to do that. You can see we do have our seat belts inside the seat there. Good seat detail as well. Nerf bars here. Uh, there's our uh, uh, mufflers and exhaust pipes there as well. Uh, I'm going to have to pull the top wing off so we can look at the engine anyway. So we may as well do that. Um, but yeah, we've got that there. Uh, I think we've done all our body work. We do have a white tail tank with the number two. And I think we're good. I think we're ready to start looking underneath. Uh, let's go ahead and pop this top wing off here. And then we'll take a look underneath and see what we got. So we pop the top wing off. I'm going to pop the uh, engine cover up here. And there you can see there's the engine detail to these sprint cars. Absolutely beautiful. Like I said, if you're having the option right now to choose between Chase Elliott's, because his sprint cars are in, if you want to choose Chase Elliott's sprint car versus his, um, his you know, Elites, this is literally $20 more. It'll be almost equal to next year's Elite. And this is the engine detail you get. And it's a 118th scale sprint car, so it's a lot bigger, too. It's a taller, bigger car. But that's your detail you get on the engine side. That's your seat belt and seat detail there. That looks really good as well. Um, so just great detail on these from Acme. Um, like I said, they've made adjustments. Oh, they've only been doing these for a couple years, and they've made some great adjustments already, uh, getting them right where you want them. So, um, But, yeah, very easy to put back together. You get that wing up there set. You just kind of pull the back wing over, and boom, you're latched back in, and there you go. So, um has had a lot of wins this year. I'm a big Brad Sweet guy because obviously I'm a Casey, huge Casey Kane fan, long time. And so obviously I'm rooting for Brad Sweet and then Casey Kane. Um, but uh, David Gravel and, and Macio have all been really good this year in that top three points battle. So, uh, But anyway, guys, let me know what your thoughts are on this diecast in the comments below. Or if you've checked out other sprint car diecasts, I highly recommend it. Uh, if you've never been to a World of Outlaw race, definitely recommend it because you can get these things signed so easily. Once the race is over, they open up the pits. Every driver sticks around, they sign anything, or, you know, they're just, they're super accommodating. You can get a picture, you can go stand by the car, you can get pictures of the car, all that kind of stuff. They're just, it's super 
super cool uh, to go to one of these, and it's a really, really cool event. So definitely just one of the cool things about uh, this. I'm, I might even uh, make my way down to Lakeside here in October. Um, actually, it is October now, uh, but head down and see, see him race at uh, Lakeside, hopefully. So, uh, But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed. You can check all these diecasts out at rasdiecast.com. Get yourself a nice discount by using the promo code RACECRAZE at checkout. But other than that, guys, this will wrap up the video for me. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you in the next... Diecast review.